project comes from a little island off of China called Japan. Now the Japanese have this paper sculpture that they make called origami. Now origami is a two-part word. Ori means folding and gami means paper. So origami literally means folding paper. Now to make origami, all you need is a piece of paper. If you want to, you can buy some fancy paper that has patterns in it to make your origami, or you can use just a copy paper that you find in a printer. Now, if you're really desperate, you can use notebook paper that has lines in it and holes and rounded edges, but it's still paper and you can still make stuff. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make a swan. Now, to make our swan, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a piece of printer paper. And the first thing I need to do is I need to get this into a square. The easiest way to do that is to take this corner right here and bring it all the way over so that this edge meets that edge right there. So I fold it all the way up and line it up. One of the most important things about origami is craftsmanship. And that means I want this lined up as close as I can. Once I got it, I'm going to crease it, which means I fold the paper. It creates a fold. Now I've created this little rectangle right here next to our triangle. Now I'm going to get a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut off this rectangle. Now if you're in a pinch and you don't have a pair of scissors, you can fold this and then you lick it a little bit and you fold it back and forth until it gets wet enough where you can just tear it off. But if you have scissors, I recommend it that way. It'll be a lot cleaner. So I'm going to cut down this rectangle all the way. Be careful not to cut yourself or get a paper cut. They're using dangerous tools right now. Try not to cut any of your triangle. Now, when I open this up, I have a perfect square. And the nice thing about this is since I've already folded it, is I have this cut right in half, or folded right in half. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this corner right here, and I'm going to bring this edge to that middle fold right there. This is actually called a valley fold, because it goes in like a valley. And I'm going to bring this in. It almost feels like I'm making a paper airplane. I'm not, but it'll start to kind of look like it. I'm gonna fold that in. And I'm gonna take the other side and fold it in too. Line it up the best you can. Make sure that your corner down here is nice and pointy. The pointier it is, the nicer your swan's head will be. Sometimes you gotta rotate the paper to get a good angle. Crease it. Not perfect, but it, it, it'll work, it'll work. So now it looks kinda like I have a kite. I folded both of these in like that. Now, once I have that step done, I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it over so I don't see the flaps. Now it just looks like a nice kite. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to fold these edges in, line them up right with that middle line, try to make the point down here as sharp as you can. I'm going to take the other side and do that too. Once again, trying to make sure my point down here is nice and sharp. Oop, I don't want there to be any overlapping with these. These are going to be the wings, and so I need equal wings on each side. Now we're almost done. We have two more folds. Once we're at this point, I'm going to grab it at the bottom, and I'm going to bring the top point right here all the way to the very top, like that. Crease it. Press down nice and hard. It's getting kind of thick. Use your muscles. Now. This part right here is going to be the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this part down. You don't need to bend it down like super far. Just this top part right here, just like that. Crease it. It's getting thick. Now, we're basically done. All we have to do now is fold this in half. But you got to make sure that this head stays down. You're folding all of this in half, like that. Kind of press it down, crease it, make sure it's nice and flat. Now. My swan's ready, but it looks like he's kind of, uh, he's been squashed a little bit. So I'm going to perk him up a little bit. When you do that, it makes these little things. Just press those down, squish them. You want it to be flat. I'm going to raise his head up a little bit. Now he looks like he's kind of cruising. I want maybe I put his head up a little bit more. All right, maybe move his head up a little bit more. Now my swan's got a little buddy. But he doesn't look like he's done yet. It might be a good idea to get some crowns. Color this beak orange. Now swans are all white, so they're not very uh, colorful. If you want to, you could do like a ugly duckling and color them gray. But I'm just gonna do a traditional swan. Find my black. If you want to, you can do like some uh, little wings over here. 
through his wings. There we go. Now my swan has a little buddy to play with. <laughs> Thank you for watching this e-learning video. Make sure you keep practicing what I showed you and remember to always be making art.